All right, guys, this is your boy Chef Jamal here. We're about to do some reactions to some of these TikTok cooking. Okay? It's going to be interesting. So, let's go. We're going to start with white bread, furry, stale, old bread, mm -hmm. makes it better for fresh toast. Go ahead for the dip, eggs, cinnamon, sugar, vanilla extract, milk, whisk it up, set that to the side, slices of bread, go ahead and chop it up, or you can do old bread, but I like slicing up because you can toast it on all four sides in one country you already know. Go ahead and dip in the little pieces in there, go over to the stove top, pan, whatever. But it, wait till it gets bubbly, medium, medium, high heat, add on the pieces of bread, and then you already know once it gets a little crispy, put them over, and then you, this is why you want slices, but like you do them on the side side like that, and then you got on the side both side. sides of the crispy. Like, sugar, sugar, put it on the side. But oh, I don't know what why do you I call use it? Buns, I use it. Work better anyways because it's like hamburger buns with bread. jelly. <laughs> the extra mix you got for the French toast is go back on the pan. What the heck do you call that? Oh man, stop! On a hamburger bun guy. Wow. Let's see what's next. Uh huh. Oh shit. Then take the rest of the potatoes, do them. Go ahead and cut them into. How about them spots, guys? Okay. Cut them into slices of game. I'm going to be like a fourth of an inch, just like this, nice and small. Okay. Slice like McDonald's. And then put them into the sugar water and place them into the fridge for like 30 minutes. You don't need to put them in the sugar or water. 30 minutes, take out the fries, drain them, and just put them in water, guy. Cold water. It's a waste of paper towel. It's a waste of money to use a regular ass towel. And then once they're dry, place them into a little high risk. And then check that the oil is on them. You're using top stick. And we're going to flash fry them in 60 seconds. Go ahead and 60 seconds. Flatten them out on the parts, put them into the fridge for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take them out, and then you're gonna refry them for like 4 to 5 minutes until they're golden brown. Lightly golden brown, however much you want. And then go ahead and place them into the fridge. I don't see why you could just. Just because it's time to go ahead and salt them. Oh, it's how many dollars does it? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Okay. Hash browns are for what? You can be better with making a potato galette. Let's see how this is going to be. Peel one large potato, cheesecloth, grate, twist and ring, uh -huh. bring out the excess moisture. Heat eight and still medium low heat. Add two to three tablespoons of oil over the left and the feet. Add a half of the potato. Freshly grated parmigiana parmigiana, the main potato on top. Salt. Cook five to six minutes until the bottom of the bottom. Turn up the heat to medium to make sure it's nice and golden. One to two minutes. Clip. Add a little more oil so it doesn't burn. Cook medium low heat, five to six more minutes. Salt. Pepper. Parsley. Parmigiana regenerative. Dill. Oh, yeah. I will cook mine longer. <laughs> Oreos and the Oreos into your Oreos to cover halfway. Sounds like a mess. Once the stem looks like this, I know it's literal dirt, but just stick with me. Bam, done for last second. All right, let's check on it. Look at that. Let's dig in. Look at that. The ultimate chocolate cake. If you really think that's chocolate cake, it is freaking delicious. delicious. You really need to go somewhere to that house. Guys, this quarantine has really got people crazy. Don't you dare stop the trash. Since how you imagine, you're better with making a potato galette. Add a little more oil so it doesn't burn. Cook medium low heat, five to six more minutes. Salt. Cook five to six minutes until the bottom of the bottom. Turn up the heat to medium. One and a half teaspoon, caramel, twist. That's the texture you want. Let it rest 10 minutes to relax the blue. No, well, don't use butter and burn. Even we could, you're going to need to also use a nonstick skillet. Okay, let me make the pancakes here. And blueberries, blueberries, chocolate chips. Cook two minutes. Kind of runny. Flip. Flip. Let me see if they rise. Flip. Yes. Sounds like. You still
Sun and I baking this. Spray oil, half a cup of potato starch, half a cup of powdered sugar. Whiskey business, doesn't get your corner further. Stick Half a cup of water. Gelatin, three of those, sprinkle that on top. Give a little whiskey bit. Put this to the side. Medium pot, one and a half cup of sugar, one and a quarter cup of light corn syrup, and half a cup of water. Medium high heat, bring to a boil, and then boil this bit until 240 degrees. Remove from the heat. Get it, sir. See if it's just a gelatin. Most be carefully shoot out a very hot liquid down the side of the bowl to the water until all the time we have fun high for five minutes. Don't it. Last bit in two teaspoons of vanilla. Transfer to your prepared pan. Dip in your hands. Move up that top. Keep it uncovered. Temperature or nice. Start to make sure. Get all your marshmallows and cut. It's one inch cubes. Cook with more starch. It's like a homemade marshmallow. Fuck. They also toast. No, this, this is like made shrimp fried rice. rice. Ooh, so you go into a rice, onion, onion, carrot, egg, shrimp. Right. So basically, it's one to one ratio with one rice and so one of everything here. We're, we're going to start, start with a splash of oil, oil. eggs, another one. Spray with eggs on up. Put your egg, egg to the side. A little bit more oil, half a tablespoon of garlic, about three tablespoons of scallion. That's what we call piking right here. 150 